Today I will show you how I am deep cleaning our bed. I am usually into this mood twice a year. Once after the summer sweating and once before the summer sweating. So I take you as I go to my twice a year bed cleaning routine. We have very simple traditional bed with slated base, nothing fancy at all and this is exactly what I'm liking about it. I also prefer it to the boxy beds, because like any other furniture with the legs, it doesn't steal the space from a room optically as it gives the sense of openness and allows the light to flow underneath. It's perfect for the air circulation but also there are plenty of secluded nooks and crannies and it's gathering the dust just like any other surface. Besides, our bedroom is facing the street side, therefore we're getting more dust also from there. So my plan is to take everything off the frame to vacuum the majority of the dust and then give a wipe with a damp cloth to the hard parts. And this is what I'm going to do in first place. Then by the next changing of the bed, I will be washing the upper part of mattress covers and pillows. And then the bottom parts I'm going to wash sometime in summer when it's really hot as those parts are larger and need way longer drying time than our dryer can offer. And we're definitely not keen to sleep on the wet bed. It's quite a big task and that's why I'm breaking it in smaller parts. That way is more realistic to have it done because if I would be aiming to do all in one go, I might be never have motivation to begin. For clean the wooden parts, I'm using slightly damp cloth with just the water, avoiding of moisturizing them too much as it can damage the wood. I am really taking an advantage to can easily access this spot of the floor. If you have a box spring bed, you may want to check under the mattress too. One of my viewers said they found quite a lot of cleaning potential over there. I am already curious for your comments. I am getting frequently asked, why do we have two mattresses on one bed frame? And here is one of the reasons. They are a dead weight. Even so, I'm feeling like a dung beetle and frankly, I wouldn't like to have a fight with a double weight. Here I am a week later, washing the pillows and upper parts of mattress covers. And an opportunity to can wash them in the washing machine is another reason for have two separate mattresses. I have to wash them one by one as our washing machine can't contain more. And for some reason both the pillows and the covers always need two drying circles. The upper part of the cover contains a cashmere and that's why I'm washing it with a gentle detergent. This particular one is from Arket. It's slightly shrinking after washing, but no worries, 
After one sleeping on it, it gets back to the initial size. If your mattress comes with non-removable cover, you may want to get a protection for it. I saw many tips on cleaning mattresses by sprinkling it with a soda powder. And I also read many times that vacuuming soda it might give a major damage to some type of vacuum cleaners. So washing it in the wash machine, it might save you a money and it's also way more efficient. And now I will show you how to go on cheating a little bit and improve the look of the bed without investment. For optically unified both sides and also for get an illusion of fluffiness, I'm placing two blankets one on another across the bed. I'm not a fan of chopped pillows, but following a tip from one luxurious hotel owner on how to make the pillows look crisp. All it's needed is align it with the brim of the bed and give a few slaps from the middle towards the edge all the way around. It's literally taking just 10 seconds per pillow. And trust me, that way even tired pillows are looking really perfect. And here it is, one clean and soft bed. Check. If you like this video, please give me the thumbs up and smash the subscribing button. Also share it with those to whom it might be useful. Thanks for watching, greetings from Luxembourg and see you in the next one. Eddie.